Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and today you might just see me cry. So today what I thought I would do is come up with a big list of things that I want to do to the nav. Um, also, I guess I need to make a list of what I've done so far as well, just to see where I'm at with everything. So what I'll do is get an Excel document open. I'm a little bit nervous to do this because I think I've probably spent too much money on things that I should have, I guess, put elsewhere. So let's bring this up. So where to begin? Um, let's start with what I've done so far. Now build so far. So we should have the part, the cost. Let's go completed. Have I actually done it or not? So what have I done? So pull bar, bash plates, two inch lift, now wheels and tires, weather shields, slash headlight trims, tail lights. And indicators about tailgate handle. Struts for the tailgate and the bonnet. Snorkel. Winch. Uh, what have I got to put on it? Uh, door handles. I've got a bonnet scoop coming for something different. Paint slash material. Can't spell. Rottle controller is already on there. UHF is in there. Diff. Breathers on yet. I think that's it. Gonna have to go back and check emails to figure out the cost for these things, so do some YouTube magic. Alright, we got some costs in there now. So let's see what I've spent so far. As you can see, I've got some stuff sitting around at home ready to go in. Oh my god, so I have already spent 12 grand on this thing, Jesus. Okay, interesting, interesting. Did not think it was that much. Okay, so that's what I've done so far, what I've spent so far. What have I got left to do? This is not an exhaustive list, but it's everything that I can think of right now that I want to do to the nav. I guess to get it to a point kind of being like a toury, tour sort of setup, kind of, not really, I don't know. Um, I'll just rattle some things off. Exhaust needs to be done. Rock sliders, in cooler, machine, tub rack, drawer, fridge, drawer. I want to need dual battery. I want a light bar maybe. Catch can, slash secondary fuel filter, the tub shop. Crazy I'm gonna get with this. Upgraded suspension arms. I don't know if I'll do a body lift if it's necessary or not, but we'll chuck it on here. Tailgate storage, maybe a front locker, a brake kit, upgrade. Right, I'll get some costs and we'll see what this is gonna to come to. Um yeah. Oh man, so that was me doing some quick research for like half an hour um super rough prices and sort of rounding up because I need to account for things like postage and everything as well to get stuff here but man seventeen thousand dollars to get the nav to a point where it's sort of set up oh man that doesn't even include a tent oh anyway it's gonna be expensive um but that's the plan slowly over time buy all this stuff and fit it oh man i added in this extra column here as well because um i need this stuff so i'm not working off the floor essentially because <laughs> yeah getting a little bit sketchy there grinding grinding some stuff on the floor in one of those other episodes so so i guess this is what you guys have got to look forward to probably one thing to point out is there might be slightly bigger gaps between episodes because not made of money. This is brand new prices too, by the way, so I might be able to find some secondhand stuff and um, that'll bring that 17K down a bit. But 
here we are. Um, if I've missed anything on the list, guys, leave it in the comments below. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. That's just where my mind's at with um, what to do with the nav. So um, it'll get it to a point where I guess it's set up to do a few longer camping trips. So um, having an actual fridge and um, the battery set up to, to keep that running. And I oh mean, that list doesn't even have like a solar panel on it, for example, too. So not that they're crazy expensive, but everything adds up. That's the end of this episode, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Next week, we'll finish, finish off the Chrome Delete um, on the nav. So I've got some black door handles to go on and I've got a bit of paint gear um, to try and tackle the rear bar. So we'll see how that goes. If you want to keep up to date with the build, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss an episode. But I will catch you guys next time. Peace.